I've chosen sunflowers to represent the connection to the business that we're in. So Syngenta makes crop protection products and sells seeds for agriculture around the world. And sunflowers are an important product. They're used for food and their seeds and their oil is used in the food industry and for lots of other uses. So this is my helmet. The reason I brought it along is because as a process engineer working on a production facility, I'd be lost without it. I need it if I'm going out into the units, uh, which is a thing I love doing. I get the most learning when I go out into the fields because I can speak to the guys with 30 years worth of experience and really learn from them. So here I have a prop with me, which uh, for me epitomizes what chemical engineering is about. It's about fueling the world's needs, but it's also about innovation and technology. Here I have the greatest breakthrough for many years in terms of lubricants technology. There is nothing I think more exciting than being part of a team and being part of an organization that creates such a breakthrough. Chemical engineering is at the core of this project. I've got here a jar of cocoa beans. Without cocoa beans, there wouldn't be Cadbury and there wouldn't be Mondelez. We start off with raw cocoa beans, which is extracted from cocoa pods. We then go on to make several chocolate products, such as whole nut, fruit and nut, Cadbury. I love the idea of being able to walk into a shop and see products that I help make on the shelves. And I love even more seeing people pick up those products and put it in their baskets. One of the units I run is a furnace and it actually uses hydrogen as a fuel source. So hydrogen burns with an invisible flame, which means if there's a problem with one of the burners, you can't tell by looking at it. If you throw bicarbonate of soda into the air registers, you can see the orange flames track up the furnace. And as well as being really pretty, it's actually very practical because it means that we can see if there's any problems with the burners or there's any flames that have gone astray. So the furnace flames are around about 10 to 15 metres high and the furnace that they're in has 108 burners. So there's plenty of places to throw the bicarbonate of soda into. So I've got a piece of sandstone here. It's called a core. It comes from about a mile under the Earth's surface. And uh, this is the typical sort of rock that the oil and gas industries are involved in, also the water industries. Out of this rock obviously comes a lot of the feedstock that many of the peat, light, power, transportation products arise from within this rock. In today's world, we're also looking at injecting carbon dioxide into rocks like this. So the prop I've brought today is a jigsaw. It's actually a Mensa jigsaw. Um, I think it represents chemical engineering because ChemEng is all about problem solving. Uh, every single day, every hour of the day, you will face a problem and it's all about how you tackle it. And in general, it is about piecing the small bits of information together, whether it be pressures and temperatures or information from different people involved in the project to get the overall picture um, and to find that solution. 